We're joined now by SMU defensive coordinator Kevin Kane. Coach Kane, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Well, of course, we're at the Texas High School Coaches Association uh, convention here in Houston, Texas. What are your impressions of it so far? It's a big event, isn't it? Yeah, it's huge. Uh, you know, it just speaks volumes of what the state does for, for high school athletics. And, um, you know, just to see all the different sports that kind of engage in, in, in being around the same facility, it's it's a spectacle. And uh, it's a big deal. It's, you know, it's one of the largest governing bodies in Texas, which is pretty fun. And uh, it's good to see all these coaches around, get a chance to say hi to them before the season, wish them good luck. And and then we get rolling with it. So, but it's it's an awesome place. It's a it's an awesome kind of event for all these guys to get together and, and just talk about what's going on. Well, you spent uh, several years obviously at Northern Illinois, and now heading into year two in Dallas at SMU. How much more comfortable does it feel now to really have ownership of the program and and kind of have the ability to instill what you want there? You know, I think it's uh, there's a lot more comfort and there's a lot more familiarity with what's going on. You know, I, I told our guys coming in, into spring ball, you know, we took some steps last year as, as, as improving the, the defense and now we need to take strides in year two. And uh, I, I feel like guys have bought in that, that what we're trying to accomplish. And, you know, I thought we, we had a good buy-in from year one, but really it's you now we're into year two. Now we got to see this is what we expect. They know what we, what we expect and we, and we hope to just kind of keep making strides like we keep talking about throughout the next year, next six months. Yeah. Well, when you, when you look at SMU's defense, I mean, again, you mentioned you made str uh, you know some steps last year, uh, and and one of those steps was the development of Richard Moore. Mm -hmm. um, where do you think he grew the most last year over the course of the season? You know, I think Richard Richard is a very instinctive player. I think uh, you know from year one to year two, his biggest thing is just his his knowledge of what the defense can do and where his players are plays are to make, and when they aren't. And, uh, you know, the biggest thing Richard, I told him in the offseason he needs to get better at is just to under con be under control at all times. So he can be a loose cannon sometimes and, and all of a sudden screw something, something up. And it was, as we're not, we don't need that. We need more consistency. And, uh, but, you know, he's one of the leaders of our team and, and it's definitely our defense. So uh, I'm excited to see what he can do. And he's, he's ready for a good year. He's fired up. He's excited. He's healthy. And, and knock on wood, he stays that way. So, uh, so it, I'm excited. And he, along with Delonte Scott and, Rodney Clemens, all these guys are back, and Trevor Dimbo's had a great spring and summer, and uh, you know we expect to take strides, and, and uh, hopefully we'll be a lot better. Well, you look at SMU last year, heading into the last two games of the year, you know they, SMU was in contention for the conference championship. Mm -hmm. When you have a team that does return a decent amount, and that was so close last year to really making a huge step and making a huge stride. Uh, does that make everybody just a little bit more hungry heading into? Oh, absolutely, and I, and I think. Uh, Again, it was year one last year and still learning, you know, how to play for Coach Dykes and for Coach Kane and Coach Lashley and everything. I think going into that Tulsa game, the best thing that happened to our team w w was was that defeat because now it's like, hey, we can't just show up. You know, we got to be able to come out here and play every day. So that kind of set the tone going into the winter as far as how we, how we approached everything. And I think our guys have grown up a lot since that day. And you know, I, it's crazy. This conference, I, 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 everybody asks me, how, how is this conference compared to Northern Illinois? I'm like, this conference is unbelievable. And, and, and the best part about it is anybody can win any day. And, uh, and we're sitting there going into week 11 with the chance to win our side of the conference. And, and to know that going into this year, you know, there's all those unexpected and you don't know question marks going into year one. Now we know that. And our guys are fired up about what they can accomplish. When it comes to the way that you coach defense and the way you install defense, what more can players sort of know and learn and do in year two that maybe is harder year one? You know, I think the biggest thing right now for our guys is, is fundamentals are, are, are the biggest thing. We can scheme everything up. So for our, our guys to master their craft, uh, I think that's going to be the big step. If, we, if guys can just take the right steps more often, uh, read their keys better every snap, if we can do all that stuff, the scheme's going to take care of itself, you know, and if, if, we, if we can just – day after day get a little bit better doing that I think we're going to be a really good defense and a, and a better football team in general. What is Sonny Dyke's coaching style like? You know I was asking coach Lashley a little bit earlier but you know they're both coaching offense obviously you know they, they're both offensive guys how does coach Dyke stay involved with the defense and, and how exactly does he in, stay involved in the defensive game planning? You know coach he, he's awesome he lets me do what we need to do and that was a big thing when I got hired here is like how are we going to practice how are we going to do stuff and I think when he worked at TCU for that year he kind of saw you can have a good offense and you can have a really good defense as well and this is how you have to go about doing it so um, he's always asking me what do we need what do we need what do we need and which is awesome for us and then when it comes to game plan I'm, I'm always asking him hey what do you think of this what do you think of this what would you do against this and 
And uh, so he's always given me feedback about how he would attack certain things, which helps, helps me tweak tweak the package and, and, and do certain things that we do. Awesome. Well, Coach, thank you so much for joining yeah, us. Yeah, appreciate we'll, you, man. We'll talk to you again real soon. All right, boss. Appreciate it.